Bill was extremely bright and quick-witted, able to perform well in the doctor's university assessments with his tuition in the field of science, getting a first in every assignment, and impressed him enough beforehand that he saw potential in her. And that the lights, which she perceptively noticed, under the ice in the Thames were organic rather than artificial. And that the patients in the hospital were in severe pain despite, Razor, trying to convince her otherwise. She could even notice things the doctor overlooked, such as the strangeness that a grown man would root through grass and trees for bugs, or that he wasn't old enough for the doctor's theory to make sense. She was also rather brave, leading her group of flatmates when they were scared. She further showed bravery as she volunteered to combat the oncoming Cyberman from floor 1056 in her cyber form despite the doctor implying its technology would be more formidable than her own, and stayed to combat the army of multiple fully evolved Cybermen despite knowing full well she would die in the conflict. She was also brave when confronting the sentient oil, who she thought was an intruder, willingly entering the bathroom to face what was hiding in there. She also possessed a strong willpower. When the monks took over Earth, Bill was able to maintain her memory of the doctor and the world before their rule by using her imaginary image of her mother. When transformed into a Cyberman, she managed to retain her free will despite being fitted with an emotional inhibitor. The upgrade prolonged her lifespan, though it slowed her down to mere walking speed, and also gave her a cybernetic blaster on the handlebars on her headpiece. Using said blaster by channeling anger, she could blast a gaping hole in a barn and a concrete wall, incinerate another Mondasian Cyberman and could combine with the master's modified laser screwdriver to disable a fully evolved Cyberman. The upgrade made her resistant to bullets, even when hit at close range. She also retained the ability to cry a gift her romantically involved classmate Heather granted her to be able to find her.